What is up guys? Can you see me? I need to get a tripod and make this a better situation. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, how about I just do this? Um, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Today we're going to be doing a little what I eat in a day pregnancy edition um, and I'm also going to show you some of the Christmas decor I got because tis the season and why the heck not. Also it is nighttime but I'm going to start showing you tomorrow what I eat in a day. Here's a little bump day. I never know what to do with my arms. Like, <laughs> anyways, this is what she looks like at 23 weeks. She's a cutie. This is what he looks like at thousand and million weeks old. I don't know how many weeks old you are. Yeah, probably about <clears> a thousand million. This is what he looks like at 29 years old. This is his office. He's working really hard, as you can tell. Just kidding, it's Sunday. He's not actually working, but he does work in here during the week. Okay, so for breakfast, typically on the go, what I do, I do two things. One, I do this. It's just like full fat organic Greek yogurt with almond butter and then that cinnamon. Um, I don't know why it's so dark. And then strawberries and blackberries or blueberries just like usually two types of berries. Um, and then I either do like an herbal tea or just like decaffeinated, what am I saying? I usually do some kind of tea, like peppermint tea or something that doesn't have caffeine. Or um, like today I did decaf coffee um, with that peppermint mocha, this almond milk um, peppermint mocha because tis the season and I am that girl. This is like my breakfast on the go, and if I am not on the go, then I usually boil just like three eggs and eat that by itself with like salt and pepper, which I love, but it takes a lot longer to make than this, and I usually make this the night before, but I don't make the eggs the night before because I like them warm when I eat them, so yeah, that's my breakfast. So on the weekend, I usually just eat leftovers and what we have, so right now I'm making some kind of like pasta situation, which I'll show you, but like... The last few days I've been eating homemade tomato bone broth soup with um, like a grilled cheese to go with it. Um, or I don't know, we just do a bunch of different things, but I'll do that. But when I go to work, what I eat for lunch is I typically have been making like homemade chicken salad um, and also, what else? Oh, Caesar salad. Um, so I just like to make everything from home so I can know what ingredients are in everything. So I just, whatever I'm craving, I just get the highest quality version that I can get and make it myself. Um, so I know that it's like really simple ingredients, but also I'm like hitting the spot, you know what I mean? Um, but for lunch, I usually bring stuff that I don't have to heat up while I'm at work. So. So that's what I've been doing, but I'll also show you like some of the snacks that I'm bringing because you know when you're pregnant, you just never know when hunger is going to hit you and when it's going to hit you hard. So I come prepared. I swear though, like on the days that I don't bring like snacks or anything, I feel like I'm going to die and I want to eat like whole horse um, or and then on the days that I do bring enough to feed a small village, I like don't end up, I don't end up eating any of it. I'm also out of breath yet again. So anyways, this is what I'm making right now. Okay, so for right now, or right now for lunch, I'm making like pasta with chicken and then like this tomato basil sauce. I am using this pasta um, for a few reasons. One, I genuinely like this. If you haven't tried this, it's like super simple ingredients and also um, per my midwife's suggestion slash request is that I focus on getting a ton of protein um, and mainly protein is like my biggest, here I'm going to turn myself around. So I'm not like mainly making protein, I need to eat a lot of protein, it needs to be my focus, um, which if you're pregnant you've probably heard that before. Um, and then also a big thing, okay, do you want to focus or, okay, now we're focused. Um, so eat a lot of protein, but mainly to keep my blood sugar 
like steady and not like do don't cause my blood sugar to spike spike and don't do it a lot if that makes sense i'm trying to keep a steady blood sugar balance whatever i don't know if i'm saying the right words in order but anyways um because of that protein and healthy fats are my focus i'm not opting out carbs by any means i mean like i eat you know sourdough grilled cheese so i still do eat you know carbs and whatnot but i am um kind of just aware of how much i eat and it's kind of probably it, it's definitely my um smallest portion and any given meal has been my goal and i felt great and the whole reason is like i said to keep my blood sugar balanced that's what i meant blood sugar balance um because it helps with preventing gestational diabetes which obviously who wants that so that's what i've been doing um so i just you know get a lot of protein in and that's what we're going for she looks ready so anyways if you haven't seen this this is like a lower carb pasta um not because we're mad at carbs but just for all the reasons i just said and then i put like a whole chicken breast <clears throat> i'll basically eat a whole chicken breast by the time i'm done eating all of this so we love that okay i finished my pasta so i'm gonna eat one of these brownies Ooh, actually okay i have these brownies which are simple mills if you never tried this brand what are you doing um they're all really simple ingredients like this so we made some of those the other night but brownies um i don't know if i should eat this for a little dessert or i just recently got these okay so i got the cookie dough and it's called enhanced cookie dough it's chocolate chip let's see also pretty good ingredient for cookie dough am i right and then i also got the birthday cake one so i haven't tried the birthday cake one yet maybe i'll just take like a spoonful of this you can also bake it and make it actual cookies but um it's vegan so you can eat it just with like the spoon maybe i'll just have a little bit of both you know i don't know these are some snacks that I like to have too when I go to work. So like just these little baby tomatoes. This is sharp cheddar cheese, olives, and then crackers. And these are the crackers that I use. Hue. If you ever heard of Hue, you might have heard of like Hue chocolate. They also make crackers. So that's what I've been or that's what I've been, yeah, using to eat with this cheese. Um, and just to have like to pick on throughout the day if I get hungry. Also, in case you're wondering, my pregnancy cravings have literally been this sour cream and cheese. So I'll either eat like this is like organic sharp cheddar cheese, um, but also on dinner, it pretty much doesn't matter what we eat. These two are going in heavy <laughs> um, with each meal. And yeah, so here we are. I love dairy. Here's some of our Christmas decor. She had cute little reindeers. A little tree that's lit up. Hi, baby. A nice little pine smelling candle. We got this at the farmer's market. I don't know if you can get them online, but here's the brand. Actually, I don't know if you can see the brand. Oh. Here, will it focus? It says like CRAV Crab Co. I don't know. Anyways, we've got a farmer's market and it's like non-toxic essential oils, all the good stuff. Some little trees, some uh, cinnamon smelling pine cones. And then we have a little snowman right here. My cute little angel. We just watched Home Alone. Um, here's Oh well, I like it. Oh, a little nativity scene. Another Christmas candle that is not non-toxic, so not super crazy about that, but it was $8. It was on sale at Hobby Lobby, so what do you do? Got a fire going. Thanks to Asher. And then we have some cute little trees. I need to turn this one on because it lights up. Um, but that's our mantle. And we have our little stockings. And then we're gonna put our tree like right here, hence the ornaments right there. So yeah, just a few little things here and there. 
Oh, and look how pretty our angel is. Obviously, she's not hooked up yet. But look how pretty. I'm so excited. It's like glass. I think she's so pretty. For dinner, I made myself like a little chicken sandwich. So it's just literally a chicken sandwich with cheese, lettuce, chicken, mayonnaise, and toasted bread. I haven't really eaten this, but it sounded good, so we're gonna go for it. Okay, so I figured I would just show y'all what I'm making for lunch tomorrow and all of my snacks um, <clears throat> for when I'm at work. So I made another chicken sandwich. Um, I'm actually gonna bring this with me too. It's a little panini maker so I can grill it. It's fine. I am that person at work. Um, an apple, it's a really big apple, peanut butter to go with the apple, um, some mixed nuts, and then this is just like a little health shot that we got at the farmer's market. Um, some baby tomatoes for a snack, one of those brownie things, and uh, my big jug of water that I have with me. And now I'm just gonna get all of my vitamins ready as well. Um, like multivitamins and all of that, so I can take it after breakfast with me at work. And then this is what I'm taking. This is basically my prenatal um, <clears throat> that my midwife gave me, so it has like all of the things. Two of these, beef liver, um, vitamin C, this is vitamin D, this is to help with like hormones and stuff, GLA complex, and then a probiotic. And then I put them in this little thing and then take them with me with my lunch. And now I'm making homemade hot chocolate. So I just get some almond milk, some cacao, which is what that is. I add a little bit of peppermint mocha, like coffee creamer to help it out. And then some maple. Um, and then I add a little candy cane for extra pepperminty. Also look how fun and cute this little mug is. Um, I don't do this every night, but I do it when it's the holidays and when I feel like it, so that would be tonight. Okay, y'all, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you are pregnant too, please let me know. Let's be pregnancy pals. I love communing with other pregnant gals. So let me know if you're pregnant and, um, yeah. Okay, cool. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.